Blender is considered one of the best 3D softwares overall, but is it a good choice for architectural design? Many architects and designers rely on other 3D packages to do their work, and they don't consider the free and open source software that is capable of making professional looking architectural designs. In this video, we're going to dive deep into all the tools and features that Blender offers for architects and designers to help them reach their end result. So without further ado, let's get started by taking a look at the necessary steps you need to make an architectural design with Blender. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations a Blender course that teaches you to create 4 high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. Project Development A lot of architects rely on other softwares like AutoCAD, Revit or others to do their technical drawings and even the designers that already use Blender. Because a lot of them don't know that Blender can do technical drawing and it can actually produce full documentation for architecture work and that's by using the freestyle feature which is an edge based non photorealistic rendering engine it relies on mesh data and z depth information to draw lines on selected edges types this feature can be used to create blueprints and technical drawings as well also, some artists and designers will use Blender and the CAD software to produce their technical drawings by using Blender for the early conceptual studies and for the visuals and using the other CAD software for documentation. Modeling Blender has a lot of great modeling tools and features that makes it better than some other CAD software, especially when it comes to speed and efficiency. One of the features that Blender offers to speed up your workflow, especially in early stages of modeling, is parametric 3D modeling, which gives you the ability to quickly change the shape of your 3D objects. Also, you can add more parametric modeling tools to Blender by using some Archify's add-ons. Also, you can use some other modeling add-ons to quickly create houses and buildings like Archipack for example, that gives you the ability to add presets for different types of stairs and windows and also add pre-made architectural elements to your scene. Also there is the building tool add-on that allow you to add procedural architectural elements like doors, windows, floors, railing, balconies and roofs and all of that to make the process of creating your scene easier and faster. Materials and Textures A good looking material and a high quality texture on an architectural design is one of the main things that makes the render look so great. So with Blender, you can create your own procedural materials using the shader node system that Blender offers. Using it, you can create high quality procedural materials for your scene. You can also use it to add textures to your models. As a side note here, using high quality textures is going to slow your rendering speed but it's going to make your render look more professional. You can get some good textures from websites that offer them for free or through a monthly subscription. And of course with Blender, you can use add-ons that comes with big libraries of shaders and textures, even models, to help you speed up the process of creating your scene and focus more on the creative part of the workflow. Lighting Lighting is one of the most important yet overlooked processes of creating a good looking architectural scene. Lighting can either make or break a render. Luckily with Blender, you have a lot of tools to work with to ensure that your render looks great. Also you can use HDRI to light your scene, which gives you real world realistic lighting for your project. As a side note here, you can get some high quality HDRIs for free on a website called HDRI Haven. You can also use some Blender add-ons that can make a big difference when lighting your scene. Rendering After you finished modeling, texturing and lighting your scene, now it's time to render it. And with Blender, you have two built-in render engines to do that. First is Eevee, which is the real-time render engine. 
This engine can give you real time view of your architectural scene. This engine is great for testing materials and lighting setups. It also gives you really fast render speed but in exchange for realism. Blender also has Cycles which is the physically based ray tracer which gives you the maximum realism for your architectural scenes. You can also use other third party engines with Blender like V-Ray and Octane Render. You can check this video here to see all the render engines that work with Blender. Now that we saw what Blender is capable of doing when it comes to architectural design, you might be asking why are the most firms and architectural designers using other softwares? Well the answer for that is that most other CAD software has been around for a long time now. So artists got comfortable using them and they are still using them because they get the job done. So it's hard to change to a new software that can give a better job. Also, yes Blender can create high quality visuals, but a lot of firms don't need that extra level of realism. They only need to do enough of visuals that the client can understand and get excited about the project. Some of these firms will need high quality visuals, but they will probably hire someone working with Blender or 3ds Max for example. But still, if you want to use Blender for architectural design, it's a great choice and more artists are joining the Blender community from this field. Also, some architectural firms are joining as well, like Blender FX for example, which is a small studio for VR, AR, architectural visualization, and VFX, which is based in Germany. It uses Blender to create amazing interior and exterior visualizations for their clients. And also e-interiors which is a Brazilian interior design e-commerce startup that uses Blender for their interior design work. They developed a new platform based on a semi-vanilla Blender, Fluid Designer and their own pipelines to make Blender work for their custom needs. That's it for this video. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about using Blender for architectural design. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, goodbye.